We begin at 5 o'clock with developing news right now. High school athletes are fighting to save their season. Drone 3 showing us the scene over the state capitol, where as you can see, players, coaches, and parents are protesting a decision to cancel tackle football because of the pandemic. Channel 3 Sports Director Joe Zone is live there with what they are saying. And Joe, that crowd has certainly grown behind you. Well, this was supposed to be a 5 o'clock rally. We were expecting it to be big. We look around, I'll tell you what, it is going to be big. They came from all around the state to the state capitol. They have a message for the governor. We're expecting maybe more than a 1,000 here for this rally. There's players and coaches, parents and fans from 25 schools, and they've somehow organized and gathered here to make their case for playing high school football this fall. They believe they have followed all the rules set out by the Department of Public Health emphasized by the governor and committed to by the CAAC. Football is a high-risk sport, the government agencies say. These players think it can be played with minimal risk. One Southington lawyer thinks they have some legal ground to stand on. The main goal is to try and get an injunction to show the court that there is an, a, an immediate need at, and irreparable harm is the term that they use if the, if the uh, football season is not allowed to progress. I know Colorado today became the 36th state to allow high school and youth football, so not allowing this or, or delaying this season is going to create that irreparable harm for the kids. What do you think about seven on seven? That's been thrown around. Um, seven on seven defeats the point of football. Football is about brotherhood and family and telling half the kids, like the linemen, that they cannot play is that's not football. You look around, you can see teams from all over the state, Shelton and Plainville and Rockville and Southington, all with their different color uniforms, but all with the same message. Let us play. We're live here at the state capitol. Joe Zone, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.